Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial. Today we're going to be talking about Lucid Group Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LCID. And Lucid is a luxury electric vehicle manufacturer, and they are currently trading after hours down about 2.5%, notably due to the fact that Morgan Stanley actually issued their price target by Adam Jones, who is a analyst, for $12 a share and a underweight target. So what that would represent from current levels today would be almost a 40% decline in price from the closing price of $20.06. Now, Lucid Group has not seen that price, I don't think, since they originally announced their starting points. So over the 10-day, they got pretty low, but since they announced their merger is the last time they saw that $12 a share, even after some of the declines in total price. This is the stock that in the lead up to the merger with CCIV, CCIV, they went all the way up. I believe it was actually north of $70 a share. I'm seeing here that it went as high as $64.86. So they had a monster run back in February before they came crashing back down. And they've been trading in the $20 range and they did have that run over the summer back up to $30 a share. So this is a stock that's had a lot of volatility, a decent amount of movement, and as you can see, they're now down a little bit after hours. So the question is, what is the expectation going forward? And that expectation is somewhat unclear. Right now, we do have now two analyst expectations, the current one by Citigroup coming in at $28 a share from August 31st, and the one that came out today at $12 a share. So we're really right at about $20 a share where the price is today. That represents over the next 12 months, the expectation is that the stock will stay flat. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily unheard of depending on what the broader market conditions will look at. Right now, this is a company that is currently trading at a valuation of about $32.5 billion and their sales are not truly representative of that kind of expectation. So the growth story behind this company is that they expect to grow and they expect to grow rapidly. So let's take a look at their pre investor presentation. This is the financial operating summary from their July 2021 investor presentation. You can see the expectation is they do expect to have a negative gross profit of $155 million this year with a total net income of negative $1.5 billion. The expectation is that they will continue to operate at a loss going all the way through 2024. So the first expected profit in terms of net income is going to be in 2025. And the first expected profit in terms of gross profit will be next year in 2022. Now the expectation here is that they will have significant increase in sales volume. You can see right now that they're not expected to sell at they're not expected to sell at least 1,000 cars this calendar year, and next year they'll have to see if they will sell 20,000 cars. The expectation here is if they're able to hit this, I think that it does bode well for the fact that they are growing very quickly, but keep in mind that this is a company that is currently trading at about 30 times gross profit 2023 numbers. But even if we go all the way out to 2025 for net income, then the company is currently trading about 60 times what would be price to earnings ratio, which is absolutely insane. And for that reason, I just personally don't like to follow the EV sector. I think that this is one that you can definitely play pretty aggressively. But we've seen Tesla moves a ton, and there are kind of few people take Lucid and say, hey, this could be the next Tesla. Just keep in mind that the company currently trades at about $32.5 billion valuation, and they're frankly just not making any money right now, and the expectation is that they won't do so in the near future. They have a lot of cash on hand, but that cash can dry up quick when you're losing over a billion dollars a year, which they're expected to do for at least the next three years. So that's just my opinion. I personally don't invest in any EV stocks at this point in time unless you consider Ford to be an EV stock. But I think that for these companies, they are definitely speculative in nature. And I wish you luck if that's your purview. But if you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any feedback for me, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.